10 minute video. All right, I started recording. <laughs> okay, I'll start. Um, like what we just said, like the target market to make it different from Lowe's and Home Depot could be like moms, like even like stay at home moms that um, like their kids having a birthday party and they want to have like a bunch of decorations, but like if you pay someone to do that, it can get really expensive. So they could just learn how to do it themselves. There's a lot of videos like online. But I think it'd be easy to target towards moms and they like doing like, I know like my mom likes decorating like stuff for, like birthdays and like graduation parties and stuff. So that's like what the DIY could be targeted towards. Yeah, I feel like more um, marketing toward moms. You also said contractors. I feel like I feel like if we're marketing toward moms, we need to kind of push like that cute stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of moms like presentations a very big deal to them when it comes out of like do your home, do it like do it on your own stuff, like parties and stuff like that. So I feel like mm -hmm. if we're gonna put stuff on the floor, we need to put down a lot of stuff like ribbons and banners and like other mm. very appealing to the eyes kind of things. Right. Paint, maybe like stuff like yeah. what color. Exactly. Yeah, very and like colorful appealing things to the eye. Yeah. As far as like hardware goes, you can because I don't know, I see all the time like on even like TikTok and Facebook, whatever, these moms are like DIYing like cabinets in their kitchen just like all by themselves. So like even it could have hardware like separate from decorations, like wood and stuff or whatever. Also, I know for me, like my mom is like it, like her garden, mm -hmm. so, like, uh, like tools for the garden, like also like patio sets would be good for like displays, yeah. like at the front of um, at the front, like patio sets and like just yeah. decorate the yards. I know women are really into like making sure that their yards are good, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, anything that's like super, yeah, like decorative and like looks really good and like but it's so easy to do at the same time. Yeah, would probably sell really well. Um, what was the second point? What products and services should we put on the floor display? Okay, we kind of talked about that, but like I was just saying, I feel like we kind of wrapped that into point one. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, big thing like like you guys that we need to put out a lot of color. A lot of like very appealing to the eye things that are gonna attract people because then it's gonna be like, hey, yeah. like I really like like we you want your guests to come in and say, hey, I really like the way you set this up. It looks really nice. Yeah, so, and it's like easy to be like, oh, I had someone like I paid someone to come do that, but then like you can be like you can brag on it and be like, oh, I did that by myself last weekend. Like, doesn't it look so good? Yeah, exactly. Plus, then you. Plus then, like, obviously, so they're going to brag on it. They're going to say where they got the stuff from. So that's going to bring customers back into our store right. versus going to Home yeah. Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. Yeah. And I think, like, all the, like, yeah, party stuff, definitely, like, because I don't know if y'all ever been to, like, someone's, like, first birthday party or, like, a baby shower. The moms be putting that stuff together, like, balloon like, arches. The gender that. reveals and all that stuff. Yeah. All that. So, like, that could be, like, a different, like, like, that could be, like, a whole section of its story of the stuff, like, gender reveals and baby showers. But, like, I know when my sister had hers, like, her and my mom were doing a whole bunch of DIY stuff. So that's, like, what's really going to set it apart from, like, Home Depot and Lowe's because that's just all, like, dad stuff with, like, party you know. season. What about party city? And then, um, all right, so, like, our third point for positioning the store, we need to definitely focus on putting, like I said, the banners, the paint, stuff like that that's really appealing to the eye up front because we want that to be the first thing they see when they walk in, especially if, that, like I said, if we're going to set up for a party or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we could put kind of the hardware, like, right behind it, like, the middle of the store. Yeah, because you're sometimes when you're doing like a DIY, you're still gonna need like stuff like that, like hardware stuff. Exactly, and like we kind of want people to, you know, if we put <clears throat> too much stuff that's like really appealing by in the front, like we want to have a good setup, but we want them to come into the store. We don't just want them coming in, mm -hmm. grabbing their stuff, walking right back out. Like we want people yeah. coming to the store. So 
we're going to kind of put some of that other little stuff in the back that people are going to have to walk through the whole store to go find this where they're going to see, oh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to grab this too while I'm yeah. here. So yeah. we definitely need to put like, you know, most of like the stuff people are going to buy, put it like in the middle or more toward the back and kind yeah, of so put like some just store. appealing stuff up front to get people to come in. Yeah. No, I agree because like the position of the store all that, it's all that matters. Like if it's all in the front, but like, oh, just grab this and go. And you don't even see the rest of the store. Yeah. But you could also do it like you could position it by like sections, but okay, this is like like the party section or like, this is the baby shower section. This is stuff you can get stuff for weddings. Yeah, exactly. You could almost kind of I feel like this one thing Home Depot does, they just have like a big cluster of stuff we could kind of set our hardware store apart from like what the theme of like what you're going for is. So like we could have hardware in one section, we could have party themes around the store and stuff like that that yeah. people would need rather than just having just a random cluster of stuff, even though it's organized, it's still, it's just a bunch of stuff placed around yeah. the store, you know? So we can kind of set apart from that by theming out our store versus just putting it in sections. Yeah, I agree. So, Terrence, Yelston, anything you guys want to add to that? Yeah, I love he just, I love he just uh, walked away, and I just forgot exactly what y'all just said. Um, we were on the third point talking about positioning the store like in different sections, having like. Oh right, 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 right. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I pretty much like agreed to what y'all was saying, just um, because I I know for um. Like you were saying, like that's a really important like aspect to have, like just knowing where things need to be uh, located in the store, just so everybody can get around and see, not just what we have on display in the front to, that's going to be appealing to them, but just to get around and get um, a good glimpse of all of our products as well. So um, I don't know, you guys pretty much touch bases on. Uh, oh yeah, or just like they can see like. Position. Yeah, like they can see that we have everything. Like even if they don't need it for that particular thing they're doing, if they start doing another DIY project, they know like they can come back and like we'll have it there too. Like right. they don't have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot because it can all just be in one spot for them. Exactly. Yeah, and then like I know with like some projects, like say like okay, like we're we're showing a display of like the finished product, but people need those little small little. Um, maybe just like add on set of pieces like mm -hmm. maybe they already started something they just need like a certain little ribbon or some a certain little like you know just a touch yeah. up um that's when they can walk around our store and like see like all the little small other things that we have not just a finished product or something that's being displayed yeah. out on the front yeah i agree was there only three um yeah, there was only three. Yeah, there was only three points this week. Okay. Um, he said no need to worry about pricing, distribution, promotional planning on this one. Okay. Let's see. I feel like another what thing about? we could add to, though, for, like, the setup of the store is put stuff outside. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. I was literally just going to say that. Were you guys thinking? Yeah, I was literally just thinking. Like I was going to say head. we put... <clears throat> like we could use you know how stores have an led sign or something like that mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah instead of having like a regular store sign like everybody else we could use one of our products as our store sign and say mm -hmm. like hey yeah you could buy that sign as well or we have like stand-up stands outside with our other products on it and stuff like that yeah, yeah. and i think that's super smart because a lot of um, like the Lowe's and Home Depot don't really I mean they have like little flowers and stuff outside but they don't really do too like they're not doing things like that to they have, attract like, people to come in outside. yeah yeah exactly so, all right, I think that should be enough time